it's a huge issue. It's horrific. I mean, let me tell you this story. My, my buddy Mike, uh, he has an eight-year-old daughter. Um, his, his daughter is the same age as my daughter, Rosie, who's eight years old. So they're third graders. At his daughter's school, they uh, split the kids into what they called affinity groups. The black kids, the white kids, the Hispanic kids, the Asian kids. And the name of the affinity group for the white kids was bystanders and oppressors. My job, you know what? Let's get right into it. He's lying. Josh Mandel is lying. Josh Mandel is running in the Republican primary for U.S. Senate. And yes, as some of you may remember, he lost when he vied for U.S. Senate as a Democrat in 2012. Like, it's obvious that Josh Mandel just makes stuff up. Even national news caught on long ago on how Josh Mandel is a liar at worst and disingenuous at best. The senses he took years ago aren't the ones he holds now. And yeah, he's allowed to change his mind, but once upon a time he was more of a moderate, which isn't a thing, sure. And he's clearly riding the MAGA wave in order to gain political power. Here's an excerpt about him from Politico explaining how Josh Mandel simply will do what it takes to get elected. He called Black Lives Matter activists thugs. He called the transgender movement insane. He called COVID-19 a bioweapon manufactured by the Chinese Communist Party to defeat Donald Trump. He talked about the seep of illegals at the border, describing the immigration of Haitians, Hondurans, Mexicans, and Guatemalans as an invasion funded by George Soros, orchestrated by Barack Obama and enabled by Joe Biden. He said he didn't believe in the separation of church and state because there's no such thing. Of course, he believes that the 2020 presidential election was stolen. Not that he has proof, just because it's how you get 45's endorsement. It's not a matter of if he'll lie, it's why. He'll just say whatever buzzwords he thinks will gain him favor from the MAGA voter base. Pro-Trump isn't a position, by the way. He frequently tweets about Judeo-Christian values, but that isn't a thing either. Especially not to him. He's Jewish. So emphasis on the Judeo part. I'm not saying he can't necessarily believe in Jesus. I'm saying he doesn't. Yet he hides it in order to appeal to conservatives. When it comes to critical race theory, the new move is to acknowledge that CRT isn't being taught at the K-12 level. After all, we've been at this for a while now and no one has presented an excerpt from any book written about this framework which instructs teachers to call white kids oppressors and black kids oppressed. They're now saying that tenants of CRT are being taught in school. In other words, it's light versions. You know, how diet versions of something is the something. It's been said before, up to 80% of teachers in the US are white and almost half of US students are white. And we're suddenly supposed to believe that white teachers are making white kids feel bad and guilty? That's not the white America I know. Here's what I mean, more Ohio stuff for you. Y'all want to know how I knew that the owners of the Cleveland Guardians weren't honoring Native Americans and the indigenous peoples of America by nicknaming their team the Indians and featuring Chief Wahoo on merchandise? Because U.S. teams never honored white people the same way. There's no mascots of a white character or caricature. Since when did European Americans not exalt their image and likeness, e.g. money, statues, and history books? They're not suddenly going to call their kids bystanders and oppressors. Anyway, Josh Mandel is lying about his friend's daughter and the affinity group. I wonder if this friend of his is even real. For Rebel HQ, I'm Jeff Wiggins. My architect knows Japanese. For more from the Young Turks, stay right here. If you want to see content from yours truly, click on the hashtag below. I can also be found on all socials at he gonna be all right. Thanks for watching.